You know, this is a great budget and it does things for Californians throughout all parts of our state and from all backgrounds. First and foremost, making sure that everyone can have access to a doctor. Provides about $100 million in dollars to make sure that communities where there are access issues can have access to resident physicians either in their hospital or through teaching centers, uh, community clinics that are teaching centers. We took some important looks at how to help seniors uh, and this budget puts forward about five and a half million dollars to support a senior nutrition program. It expands programs for foster youth to make sure that any former foster youth is eligible for uh, going to college through the Chafee Grant Program and can get housing support through the Transitional Housing Plus Program. Um, the budget also looks at those who are living in the deepest levels of poverty and through sub this subcommittee we were able to repeal the maximum family grant rule which is a rule that says families cannot get any additional support through CalWORKS if they have additional children. Uh, we found a way to repeal that rule and actually found a way to pay for it ongoing through a sub account that accumulates to support CalWORKS. So this budget's been one of the best that we've seen in terms of meeting the needs of those who are in poverty, seniors, people with disabilities. We started this year by providing more funds for people with developmental disabilities and we're rounding it out with more money for our homeless families, another $15 million for homeless families. We've looked at immigration issues. We put another $10 million to support naturalization for the millions of Californians who are eligible to become citizens here in California. When you look at the context of what's been cut in the areas of health and human services over the last decade, this is a small step, but a good step in the right direction. At the same time, we are being very fiscally prudent by overall in our budget putting $2 billion aside for the rainy day fund, which is something that higher than what we are required to do. We're sending a message to the people of Californians that we want to help. We also want to be very good stewards of the public resources that we're entrusted to work with. Thank you.